Hi guys, my name is Pushpendra Sani. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial and in this tutorial we will cover how you can use Picker View and we will also understand all the functionality of Picker View and what are, what are the major things which you have to keep in mind while you are using Picker View. So let's begin with the development. So guys, here I am creating a new project with the name Picker View. Click on Next. So click on create, finally, your project is in front of you. So for a picker view, I have to take one picker view inside my storyboard. So I'm taking that picker view. This is my picker view. I'll set the constraint to this picker view. So click select add constraint from top 20 20 20 and we will keep the height of this one 200 add constraint so this is my picker view okay and I'll change the simulator so this is my picker view now I have to use that and with the picker view I will take one more thing button and button and one label okay so label for showing the result and button for click event so guys this is my complete design and one more thing i am setting the background so that it looks clear so this is my picker view this is my button and this is my label I'll set zero okay great so this is my design now I will set the outlet of this design in my controller. So I will open my file. This is my view controller. From here I will drag and drop my outlet. It's speaker view. And this is button. So this is the complete outlet of my design. Now I will work in view controller. So I'll close and open view controller at the very first I'll set the radius to my picker view it will looks good corner radius 10 same for my button dot layer dot corner radius equals to 10 now second things we have to set the delegate to our picker view so picker view dot delegate equals self same picker view dot data source equals self so this is my delegates and we set the self so we have to take the extension for that I have to take the extension for that so extension view controller and now we will take the picker view delegate so ui picker view delegate and same with comma ui picker view data source so guys i will add the methods of ui picker view delegate and data source so first method is number of components and second method is uh, Com number of component number of total component so here I'll pass return 1 and here I will pass return list dot count and one row is missing so for uh, sorry title for row so this is the row and here I'll pass return list of item index uh, sorry it's row row so this is the method now we will see the output how it looks like so here you can see the output is in front of you number now suppose we have to take the number of item number 8 after on click so how we can take that now I will attach the click event to my button so button 
dot add target self action here we will provide the action with selector here we will give the function name tap button control z and here we will give the action event touch up inside so now i will create this function with obj c at obj c function and with the name this this so this is my function now we have to print this item number so how we can print that lb dot text equals list of now we have to take the index so how we can take that self dot picker view dot selected row at in component zero so it will give the uh, output okay if you click on that then you can see item one item nine so it will return as per your selection now let's say we have two component then what will be the output so let's say two component now i will run and we'll see the output here you can see in both component i have one same data so if i would like to change the data then let's say it's item and i will create one more for loop one more list it's called as list 2 and i'll create one more or i will add here itself copy and paste and this is the value okay now it's called 2 now here we will check if component double equals 0 then we will return our first list else component is anything then we will print our list 2 so now you can see the output is in front of you item value okay now again we have to print the value of uh, selected value now how we can do that same way sorry this is the syntax and with value here we will pass component 1 ok so because we have two component item 3 item 3 with value 1 item 3 with value 3 item 5 item 6 with value 3 so you can see all the functionality is working as expected but if you want to learn more about picker view delegate and picker view data source and all its function then you can just click here and open help from your right side and you can see the complete summary and complete explanation of every function here here you can see at what time this function will call here also you can see at what time this function will get called this function will get called so all the explanation you can find i hope picker view integration is very clear to you if you have really any doubt then please comment into the comment box and if you like this video please thumbs up on my youtube video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel because on my youtube channel you will find the lots of video which is in the swift 5 programming language and with the latest technique with the short trick for everything like how you can store the data in your database how you can read write and too many function is here so please subscribe that and follow me happy coding have a great time developer bye bye